Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are going to be trying out the brand new uh, Labyrinth 4 um, Overlord, the Overlord rerun. I have played it several times, uh, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's like. So it's sort of like the previous one we got with these two different difficulty bosses at the end. One's an easier one, one's a harder one. Uh, none of, not, okay, barely any, okay. <laughs> There's certain characters you can start with, Demi Yuga and uh, Narbel and not two of them. Any of this Friar and Queen Diane. You're starting characters, I'll go cuters and these four idiots down here. Uh, you can only get characters, apart from the first choice, where you don't have to own any of them. The other characters you have to own to be able to obtain them. I own Demi Yuga on JP, I also own Narbel. I'm going to pick Narbel for this run. Uh, but normally you'd pick Ocutus for your first run. Uh, I'll pick two super breaking levels for the extra crit chance crit damage. Also, I recently found out Demi Yuga has a lot of crit chance. Like 146% of it, that's with no outfits by the way. Imagine if you had outfits, that would take it to probably close to is it 150 percent which would make him the highest crit chance character in the entire game. I'm pretty sure he's also got the fourth highest attack in the game currently. Um, in my banner review I'm gonna go over the plus, the pros and cons of each character because they all have pros and cons. I think Nobel's a little bit more, she has more, she has less pros but she also has I guess a, a not as impactful con in comparison to Demi Yoga's con really. And of course, you just collect these crystals. Oh no, they're, they're passives. There are some passives you guarantee you get, so this is ones like if you have, like, okay. I'll show you after this, because for some reason she killed him immediately. Okay, thank you. But some passives you get, like, uh, guaranteed, so you get them at the start. They're like, increase Overlord character stats. I, I don't, can't read Japanese, so we're just picking the one that has the weird symbol, because that means it's the Overlord one. Um, but some of these passives you guarantee start with. So you start with this one. Uh, you start with this one, you start with this one, uh, you basically start with these top four are the ones you start with. So if you're running like a rare character or I think, or an SR character, or no, when you get over 20k basic stats a character, you get five, sorry, 20k CC a character, you get 5% basic stats. That's like, uh, uh, that's like, they get 3% more basic stats per, um, overlord character on the team. And then crystals, I recommend, I recommend just buying crystals whenever you can. Buying crystals is the best way to do it. Uh, it took me two runs. I, I always picked the hard route because I always wanted to see what the bosses were like on hard mode. To be honest, they're not actually too hard. Um, I recommend just picking the hard route, uh, hard route all the way through. Mainly because you get more of the points to spend money at the shop because you can get actually some half good things at the shop. Let me actually quickly show you the shop. Uh, this stuff, no one really cares about. These boxes don't really care about. These stuff, you actually have to buy these to get to this uh, tier. And then you've got, of course, the standard card. 50 uh, LR coins, which is standard, 10 tickets, and 10 diamonds. 10 diamonds you get from one thing, and then the uh, tickets you have to buy individual, they're 300 a pop, causing... costing you 3,000 coins. There we go. I'm very sleep deprived today, so I'm sorry if I misspeak more than usual. I am extremely sleep deprived. But anyway, I recommend picking the collaboration characters. Of course, you have to own them. If you do own the old collaboration characters, it may be slightly easier for you because you can just pick them. Uh, I'm not sure how early you can pick them. Narbel, I wasn't able to pick to the very final pick before the boss. But yeah, Narbel's pretty good because she doesn't require any buffs. Uh, the final boss of floor 3, the more buffs you have, the more basic stats he gets, which is sort of why I've sort of stuck with Narbel because A, she's not debuff reliant. Uh, and B she doesn't give buffs, and to every other Overlord character is either debuff reliant or has buffs, or has both. Uh, Schult here is a very good example of someone who has both. She requires both. Uh, she requires to have buffs to get her Berserk buff, and she requires debuffs to do the two times damage with bleed, which you know you're going to be taking a lot of damage. Also, the final boss is immune to debuffs, so Demi Yoga isn't the best later on. That's the problem with him. Is that later on uh, he's not the best character ever because debuffs. And he, he, I think he's a weak point skill. I think it's three times damage to debuff skills, which is weak point, plus another effect on top of it. But this is pretty easy, to be honest. At the start, it's pretty easy. To, I think, I'll, I'll do a few attempts, you just buy crystals. Buy crystals every time, you have no problem. Uh, maybe I should have gone to the shop then and bought a crystal. That would probably been the smarter play, instead of going for the stage I just did. Um, no unknowns, but I'll just take uh, Pierce Melly. Blue Pierce Melly. Uh, we'll do this, we'll pick the healing, even if we don't need it. Well then, uh, what's this? Any good? Uh, more alt levels. To be honest with you, I'm going to go this way, because I can actually get the same rewards I want. 
So I can get the alt level. I can get another alt level. Which actually gives me two this one, so I'll be at 4 6. Now I can get this, which will then put me at uh, normal 6 star awakening, which is good. We'll buy this, and then we'll go to this one as well. Uh, we can buy a crystal, we'll buy a crystal. Always, always recommend buying the crystals. They always help you in some way or another. If it's not survivability, it'll be damage or turn on lines of that. It'll pick this. I don't really know what that passive says, but it had the overlord symbol, so that's good enough. First boss is the, like, trio, which is Hauser, Gil, Hauser, Gil, and Gila, I think, were the three. Yeah. Which is, like, the standard one. I think it was, I think it was the same as last time. I don't think I've actually changed any of the bosses apart from the final one, uh, which is mainly because it's now the collab boss. Uh, I've got his name. Something Aguilera is his name. There we go. Do some quick damage. Of course, you kind of want to get a lot of crystals if you want to farm this. But of course, if you're going to farm this uh, for the LR coins, you're going to do lots of runs of it anyway, unfortunately. Um, I think I'll just kill these two. Oh, just Demon King Melee. I don't know what Demon King. A normal blue melee AoE. There you go. Good damage. Good damage from her again. Then we kill. Oh, okay, we don't kill. So, the only thing is, is that if a character does require a relic for damage, you do have to bear in mind that they're not going to have the relic effect, because you can't get relics in this. She did just die to shock. But yeah, there, there's no relics in this, which is uh, a little bit irritating. I do wish they added relics, at least for the collaboration characters. It made them feel a little bit stronger, especially Computers. He's, like, horrible unless you have debuffs. And you don't really get debuffs till later on. Like, the second boss gives you debuffs, which is Glocks. Uh, we're going to go for the revive pick, just so we can go for the shop and hopefully get another attack crystal. There we go, attack crystal. Well, actually, let's see who we can get first. We can get this man. I'll be taking him instead. Okay, unfortunately I don't have enough to buy um, a crystal, but I'll take Demiogre instead. He's quite a good DPS. I've got Narbel, who's mainly going to be really, re I'm only really, really picking her for like the final bit. She's got an AOE skill, she's got a single target skill. Which is quite nice. And these are two stone guys. I was correct, okay. Had a feeling it was. Uh, and then we can just add AOE spam them. It is three times Labyrinth as well, which is really nice. Okay, so she also got an extra AOE skill, so I think I'll play the, all of these. His damage is very good. A little bit, it's actually quite a bit better than uh, Nobel's, but of course Nobel doesn't have a relic, as well as um, Demiogre's weak point, which is one of the strongest skills in the game, three times multiplier boost, which is absurd. Turns a 90% multiplier skill into a 270% multiplier skill. I was kind of hoping for someone useful, there is no one useful, so we are not going to go here. We're not going to pick anyone. We'll pick another alt level. Get her on 5-6. I do want to get rid of Galland and Melly because I want someone better. Um, my brain's thinking... I'm going to go this way so I can actually afford a character. A character's a 30. I can't afford a character at the moment. So there's no point me actually uh, checking. We'll do this instead. And get a passive boss right out. Uh, I hate this character. Uh, this guard, whatever you want to call her, she's so tanky. And also, she's debuff immune. No, she isn't. Okay, I thought she was debuff immune. I'm pretty sure there's one that is debuff immune. We're just going to spam all the DPS skills. Okay, you one-shot it. I'm pretty sure if you get below X percent, she full heals and gets like a 15% all stat boost. I have been wiped by her before. Um, Yeah, she's quite strong. On your first go, you may struggle with her. Of course, on your first go, you probably get computers. I wonder when you get the original four collaboration characters. Um... Hmm. We're gonna wing it. We're gonna pick that one. I'm not sure if that one, <laughs> that one's even gonna help me, but we're picking it. A uh, character. Anyone useful? No one useful. Okay, we'll go with the defense boost then. Go the time. This, this defense boost to be quite handy. Uh, we'll also take some more super awakening. And then we're at four star super awakening, which is kind of nice. Definitely gonna help uh, later on. We'll just in general it'll help. Demiurgo's crit chance when you be at nearly. Well, it should actually. Have surpassed the 150% because of 
uh, the crystals. As you find out what his uh, crit chance is, it's a whopping 153%. Okay. We'll do this, we'll do this, and we'll do this. This should wipe. I hope it wipes at least. Demiogre wipes, yeah. Demiogre is good for this for this stuff, but then when it becomes to like the enemies that like can't be debuffed, he isn't the best really. Of course, you can probably grab characters that are quite good on the way. I grabbed Queen Diane and Hostess Liz. The Hostess Liz Queen Diane combo was insane. Queen Diane would actually just destroy the final boss, but basically by herself, she had two hundred k crit. Uh, but I actually had better passives. I had passives that were like, um, when I have max ult gauge, I get twenty percent crit chance boost, which is kind of quite big. Second boss, so every time you attack the of course I'm doing this on hard difficulty. Every time you attack this boss, you get an ignite debuff. And he attacked it with you pretty frequently, which is kind of irritating. I think he's also immune to debuffs as well. Uh, which is kind of irritating, but we're gonna do this, we'll do this, and we're gonna do this. Let's see how this goes. Not bad. I wanna spread out the debuffs I have on my team. Just so they're not all on one person. Okay, that's fine. That's bleed. That's attack disabled. Well, that's not good. We do actually have the melee skills because he can't. Melee can't actually be attack disabled because he's got four or less ult gauge. Uh, what I am going to do though is push melee to ult, so that means uh, the AI will just target melee and try and kill melee with the ult, uh, which is what I would prefer. I don't really want melee on my team. There you, go, you can kill him now. There we go. More hand space. Which him attack disable me? Don't you do it? Okay, it's a level one. That's level two uh, bleed skill. I'm fine with that. Uh, and then we can kill. We'll just grab. We'll just play the skills as they come. I will get attack load with uh, Demi Yoga, but it's fine because it, it, it's dead. I don't think this boss has revive either. I don't think any of the bosses have revive. Normally, at least like one of the bosses have to has revive, but none of them do. It's kind of nice. It's not gimmicky. 461. Normally, I think you only get about 300, so you get an extra like 1.5 times, which isn't too bad. It's quite nice, especially if you want to buy uh, the tickets. A replacement, here we go. Uh, I'll actually take Demon Hendy. Uh, he's not really that helpful for the team, but I'll take him. Uh, I need levels. I'm level 49, <laughs> but I'm SA6. I need levels. We'll go this way. Demon Hendy also has a lot of AoE skills as well, which is quite nice, but apart from me, he's not really deal the most damage. Uh, there we go, we've got these guys. Can these, okay, can these, these guys can be debuffed, right? Okay, they can, cool. I thought they couldn't for a second. We'll just spam all the AoE skills. There we go. The only problem is that he is full debuff based, which is a problem when you get to the bosses. He doesn't really put out as much damage uh, as Neural, which is sort of kind of what you want, is damage against the bosses. The side, these, like, Stages aren't too bad, especially if you have to get a few crystals. And if you get half, a few half pa good passives. I don't know what passives I'm picking, I'm just picking the ones out of the Overlord symbol. Uh, I am now 6-6, six, six, which is good. Which doesn't really mean much. I'll take the healing, because I can't get more any, uh, any more Super Awakening anyway. I wish if you got max Super Awakening, you picked up the Super Awakening, it did True Awakening. I think that would be cool. But I doubt they would ever do that. Because that's a good idea. There we go. Okay, I don't think this guy can be debuffed. This is the Copper Demon. Can he? He can't be yet. Yeah. Now this is where the problem arises. Well, we can't debuff an enemy, his damage is much lower. There we go. Maybe I should start with AoE first. His damage isn't too bad, but once again it's lower than what it, it would normally be. Much lower. It seems going to tank very well, though. Not only because we have a lot of crystals, but because we have two collaboration characters, we get an extra 6% basic stats, which is nice. Uh, I'll just spam these skills. This should kill. What's the single target going to do? Not too much. Maybe Demi Yoga is better overall, even without debuffs, but I do feel like he sort of needs a demon team for the attack boost. Which is kind of hard to get, because there's not really many demons you can get. Uh, most of the demons are like festivals or like half decent LRs, and you don't really see them here. Uh, shops, shops, shops. We can check this shop out first. What you got cooking? 
Nothing useful. What we are going to do is take the attack crystal, which will be always handy. Uh, we'll then grab some levels. Another five levels, I'll take that. And I think I keep the rest. I'm not going to buy a passive, because I'm going to go to that shop up there. And hopefully get something half decent. I do need levels though, because I have like no levels on my team. My team is might might not even be able to scrape level 80 before I hit the boss. Go get six levels. I'll take this. Uh levels are a character. Hostess is actually really clutch. Hostess is really nice. I think the reason they put her at the end is for this boss. Uh, wow, none of them are really good. I'll take one though, but they're not the best. I'll be taking Mr. Demon King. Mainly because I have one I have one of the demon on my team, and to be honest, because Demi counts as a demon and an unknown, he's buffing Nebril, and also Demon King is buffing uh, Demi as well, so it's sort of a fair trade. Here we go. Hostess is always quite nice to have. I understand why they put her at the end. It's for this boss. Because this boss can do a lot of damage. Especially if you have a buff character. You're taking a lot of damage. Thankfully I have no buffs on my team. Well not that I'm aware of at least. I have two buffs on my team. <laughs> I forgot. Demon King gives buffs. Okay. We are just going to go. Probably turn one damage. So we'll AoE them. We'll just single target into them. Not bad. He just heal like every turn, which is kind of irritating. He's probably going to AoE and deal so much. The AoE is the scary one. Yeah, that's it. Like, I didn't do too much, but maybe because I've got, um, I've got lots of crystals now. But that, 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 that was doing a lot of damage. Okay, I'm going to waste this skill with Mr. Demi Yuga here because he's got evade for one turn. Or for one skill. So, and I can get some good damage in, hopefully. Not too bad. This is where he starts to not really do the highest amounts of damage. This is where Queen Diana was popping off. He's going to heal. He ults. Which is fine. We're taking that with ease. Then goes for Demon King. I think it's Demon King probably has the lowest stats. Okay, now Demon King got the upgrade. I don't see how resistant this guy is to just Demon King spam. Not very. <laughs> I guess Demon King's quite a good pick with Demiogo for the attack boost. Yeah, probably quite a good duo to be honest. But yeah, this Labyrinth is quite easy. Uh, the farming is a little bit slow at the start, but as long as you have either one of the old collaboration characters or one of the new ones, it's pretty quick. Even if you have the old ones, you can just run Albedo, uh, even though you will take a lot of damage at the end. Irons, you know, so on. If, if you, the thing is, if you have Irons, you can actually get 6-6, six, six, which means you can get the insane damage lower. Hostess is good. Demiogo is actually quite good. Nipple's okay. She's probably more for, like, later on. Uh, Demon King was actually kind of nice, especially with the Demiogo mix. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.